Here we have a pedigree showing three generations of a family. And our question asks, what are the two main clues seen in this pedigree that demonstrate that this is most likely a sex-linked recessive trait? Well, the first main clue is that only males seem to be exhibiting this trait, which is colorblindness. Males are much more likely to exhibit a sex-linked recessive trait because they only have one X chromosome. So whatever allele they get on that X chromosome is the trait that they will have. So even if it's a recessive trait, they will have that in their phenotype because it's the only allele that they have. So males are much more likely to end up with a sex-linked recessive trait in their phenotype. The second main clue is that the carriers of this trait all seem to be female. And that's because females have two X chromosomes, so they can carry the trait and have that recessive trait, but they have another X chromosome that can have the dominant normal trait, and so they won't have color blindness. It won't show up in their phenotype, even though they're carriers of that gene. And they can pass that on to their children, and if they have sons, then there's a chance that they will give them that recessive trait and the son will end up with that trait and be colorblind in this case. So Now that isn't to say that it's impossible for a female to end up with a sex-linked recessive trait. It is possible, but her father would have to actually have the trait and her mother would need to be at least a carrier. And so that situation is fairly rare. So whenever you look at a pedigree, the two main clues that you're looking for that you're looking at a sex-linked recessive trait is that you're seeing um, almost all, if not all, of the people with that trait are male and all of the carriers are female. If those two things appear, then it is almost certain that you're looking at a sex-linked recessive trait.